First things first, can I have a beer? Yeah, yeah, it's in the cabin. Obviously, you didn't bring any. But does he ever bring any? Well, I texted you. Well, was he in Wi-Fi? I can't believe you're still doing that thing. I, guys, like you're living on the lamb. You're all idiots. The internet is everywhere. This is how they do it in China. Where? You just you stand outside a coffee shop, you check a text, check a text, send a text, boom, done. Beer. Yes, go. good. Yeah, you? Uh, yeah, I want yeah. to. No, I'm on a I'm diet. I'm on, I told you, I'm on a diet. Oh, you're on a diet. I told you in the car, I don't want right, any beer. Of course, I forgot. Ooh, the woods. Small pal of the woods. <laughs> yeah, your old pal of the woods. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is nature. You've been coming here for nine years. I know, and That's I do. That's a long time. Yeah, but I love you guys. I just, I, I'm a concrete girl, and like, this is a lot of nature for me. Who's that? Uh, it's Dan, I think, in his new car. You guys are okay? You guys talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been talking. Y yeah. We've been texting a bit, and we're like, you know, we're not friends per se, but we're friendly. And well, yeah, because exes even... can't be friends. Well, shit. I don't know. Exes can be friends. I'm better friends with Julia than I am with any You're only friends because you were high school sweethearts, and that counts for nothing. That counts for nothing? That, that doesn't count for nothing. It's a section of my life that counts for nothing. Who is that? Who is that? That he's with? Family friend, like a niece or something? Not a niece, because they're just the wrong color. Freddie, did he say he was bringing somebody? Yeah, I think he might have. Really? What? No, that's cool. That's very cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Look who it is. Right, how's it going? How you doing, oh, buddy? Good. How are you? Good. How you doing, Freddie? How are you, buddy? Alicia. Hey, Hi. man. What's up? How you doing? Hey. Hey. How's it going? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Good. Who's this? Oh, this is uh, it's my girl Marley. Hi, Marley. Hi, Marley. Hi, hi. Nice I'm Robin. Nice, nice to meet you. Robin. Alicia, hi. Alicia. Matt. Matt. Well, Ready. Nice. Welcome. Ready. Thank you. Welcome. Nice yes. to meet you guys. So, um, so what, what do you do? Um, I'm an artist. Yeah. Cool. I'm sorry. How old are you? Uh, <laughs> 19. So, what does this do to the sleeping arrangements? Oh, I'm sorry. I, did you not realize I was coming? I... No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. It's fantastic, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys uh, were bunking together, but there's two beds, so... Robin, can you unlock the car? It's not working. Come here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't see a picture of them on Facebook, on Instagram. If I don't see a couple online, it's like they're not real. Okay, it's been two years. He's totally allowed to date. No, F that garbage. He's not. This is why exes can't be friends. We missed this weekend last year. This is the first time they were all together in two years. I don't want some oh. noob here screwing okay, everything it's up. It's not her fault that he's an idiot. Let's just do this. Okay? Hey, the couple in the air! <sighs> Get the vodka. <laughs> You're part of the family now. Come on. Get it. Yeah, come Get on. It. Come on. Come on. There we go. I tell you what, I always kind of thought we'd be up here celebrating a, a different interracial marriage. Really? Is that no good? Thanks, Matt. It's a joke. What, were you, like, engaged? No, not really engaged. Nearly engaged. She said no. He said bye. Thanks, Alicia. You're welcome. Okay, you know what? Let's, uh, let's take the photo, honey. Why don't we make some levels? Okay. You want the square for Instagram? Uh, you'll have to tag it later. There's no reception up here. Am I the only guy? Come here. Uh, Flex, come I'm on. coming. I'm coming. Right, do it. Robin, get in there. Okay. <laughs>
sorry. Not looking. <laughs> no, we're decent. Oh, um, Freddie told us that we were in the bunkie now. Yeah, it totally makes sense. I, uh, I think you're really gonna like it, actually. It's a great little love nest. Go easy on her, Darren, right? No, hey, stay, hang out with us. Oh, no, 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 it's good. I'm, I'm gonna unpack. I want you to, to settle in a bit. I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Bye. Bye, Robin. Poor Rob. Well, what's up with her? Oh, he's used to be her and Dan's bunkie. Oh, really? Yeah. <sighs> Babe, I'm a dick. Why? I just, I feel really bad about that picture thing outside. No, seriously, I, I should have just come up with, like, a self-timer thing or something, because you're my family now. Fiancé. <laughs> well, it doesn't make me any less your family if I'm not in a pic. I know, it's just... This is a lot for you right now. We have my parents tomorrow, engagement party Sunday, mm -hmm. all of my friends tonight. Mm -hmm. I feel bad. I'm with it. I love it. I'm excited. These guys are great, too. Freddie's been so welcoming to me, and Robin, what a sweetheart. I know. You know? So, so wait, so nobody knew about this Marley girl coming up? Uh, this is classic Dan. He does not know how to deal with emotions, and he just makes these decisions without thinking them through, and I feel bad for Rob. Hmm. But whatever, she's a tough bitch. She'll be fine. Good. And I should just apologize in advance, because you're going to feel left out. There's a lot of inside jokes and stories that will get exaggerated. Come on. No, it's fine. I'm good. It's, it's really exciting, you know, to know about your history, and I just want to know every bit of the past that made the woman I love. Oh. Are you trying to get inside my pants? Yeah, I am. It worked. Ooh. Oh, uh, hey. Hey. Hi. Uh, you all right? Yeah. Yeah, you sure? Mm-hmm. Good, good, good. Where, uh, where are you staying? Well, I'm staying with Alicia this year. Oh. Uh, you're sleeping with Marlene? Marley is Marley. Yeah. Marley, 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 Marley is her name. Right, yeah. right, right, right. No, I love that name. It's very current. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very hip. She seems very hip. She has a blog. <laughs> I thought so. she might have a blog. Yeah, she's a blogger, you know. <laughs> and like, look, I'm like so happy to get to know her a bit because it, it I am because if she's gonna be in your world, uh, well, I, mean, I, think, I don't know if she's gonna be in my world. Uh, she's certainly in this world. You brought her into it, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. I. I I thought, you know, since, you know, we're good, we've been kind of talking and stuff, I figured... We've been was... texting. Right, <laughs> right. And you know what I'm thrilled about? Honestly, because I'm great, this is really more for our friends. Because, like, this is a press release to the group saying, like, Hello, guys! We're fine! We're very fine! We're very we're fine. We're very fine! We're very and, like, fine. Uh, honestly, yeah. I think there's gonna be so many more additions to the group. Right. And this is, this is great, because I have a green light now. To, to bring up a suitor if I so choose. A suitor, yeah, like one of the Knights of the Round Table. It'd be great. <laughs> yeah, I'm filing that away for next year. Good, good, good. Well, I just wanted to kind of, you know, touch base and, you know, pass through, make sure... I feel very passed through. Yeah. All bases are touched. Good, good, good. So you're good, right? I'm incredible. Yes. <laughs> okay, good. Well, as long as you're uh, incredible, then uh, I guess I will... See you yep, later. Mama's yeah. out. I'll see you. I'll yeah. see you. Hi, Rumi. Fuck me. I just, I just barfed a bunch of words at Dan. No. What did you say? I literally said, I'm incredible. <laughs> well, you are incredible. But you know what? This isn't weird. It's not weird. I think it is weird. It's totally weird, but I'm a grown-ass woman, and I'm a rise above it. Here's the thing. I'm going to make a new friend out of an old flame. I'm sure of that. I can't wait for that self-help book that you're going to write. New friend, old flame. So your girl, huh? Who is? Me. When? You... How? <laughs> you introduced me as your girl no, today. No. Yeah, you did. No way. <laughs> yes, you did. Did I? Yes. All right, you could, uh... I guess you could be my girl. Like, you guess. Like here, up here for here. now. Here. Yeah, no. Oh, you. Now, wow. Uh, 
It's all good. I actually like the way things are going. So. Good. Wow. All right, we're coming in. Okay. At eight. We're gonna be close awfully soon. I'm a big boy and I'm a great roommate, and I can sleep through anything. So if you want to bang. By all means, just do it. Don't worry about me. With Dan at the helm, it's probably not going to last that long anyway. So. Wow. Wait, you telling me about that stuff? Wow. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. Marls, dig it deep. Jokes. I'm going to call you Marls. Is that cool? Yeah. Right. It's like Charles, but like for a woman. Yeah. Um, what? How did you meet this guy? Um, we met at a friend of mine's art show. Yeah. Right. And he said he could vomit prettier than that shit. That's what he said. I did say that. What a lie. Yeah. Did you confirm with her that she had graduated from high school before wow. you started hitting on her? Stop. Yeah, no, I've seen ID. I got a photocopy. We're good. Okay. And I went to a year of art school as well. Wow. You did? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Well, better than me. I never graduated high school. Yeah. Well, yeah, I didn't like it. I left. Um, I just thought it was easier to do my stuff on my own. Totally. What kind of stuff do you do? What's your, what's your work? She's an amazing painter. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Dan. Uh, yeah, I like to paint, but I'm, like, I guess known for my installation art. Known for your installation art? Well, like, not, like, huge. I just, um, have a few shows, and I've sold a few pieces. Dan, you were the famous artist. You don't even know what she's known for. You know, it's not about the fame or the money. It's uh, just about her as a person. Such much. a wonderful <laughs> bullshit artist. What? Well, what do you do? Um, well, yesterday I was working at a catering situation yesterday not, yeah not when we're back no i quit why so i'm gonna come up here so i'm gonna go get set up and i'll see you guys in a little bit all right, all right. <laughs> yeah it's nay for you right there one and only You know, our, uh, our pant roll game is really on point today. I like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm the only guy that did the roll and pull. Uh, you committed. I like that. I got the roll and pull. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hello, Miss Honor <laughs> Newscaster. How are we doing? Oh, I'm so good. I'm good. I'm so happy to be back. I miss you. I'm so happy you're here. And I have to admit, I have been creeping your shit quite often on uh, YouTube, on all the social <laughs> media forums. And creep. you look... I'm, I'm a fucking creeper. Creep. You look so much... Prettier in person. Hey. hey, there she is. In the Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I think it is, though? I think it has something to do with this motherfucking love glow. Oh, and you've got it. You know what I I do? I know. Have a love glow. It's so weird. And he seems so nice, you know? Oh, he is. He accepted my very tight hug <laughs> with warmth and love. And I know that I can be a little, yeah, a little much, but it's okay because I warned him <laughs> that, like, we're a very touchy group. Good. I didn't, um, so I didn't quite tell him, like, who I've touched in the group. Okay. So, yeah. We're got just, it. He knows about Matt, and that's it. I kind of even forget. I mean, I know you guys were together for a million years, but it's like you're the anomaly of exes. I know. It's like he's like my brother, except I know mm. what his dick looks like. Sorry. <laughs> Non-brother life. Non-brother. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> So how long did it take for you guys to... We didn't for two months. Two months? Yeah, and like, that's crazy for you. I know, and he's such a nice guy, and he's, he's older. Super nice. How old is he? He's 33. Okay. Yeah, and and when he unleashed the beast, I was... It was exactly what, what we all hoped it would be. Oh, yes, it was. <laughs> yes, to tame it was. you. <laughs> There's a... That's good. I'm happy to hear that. I'm very happy for you. Yeah. On all fronts. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you are happy for me. And on that... No, did you find Alicia to be like a little, a little weird? I don't think she's being weird per se. Okay, because I just kind of got this like weird, like bitchy vibe when I saw her. You know what I think it is? I think, um, I think she just always thought that maybe she'd be the first one to get married, and like, she was the one who played wedding at recess, and mm -hmm. you know, she kind of has this, this shitty job right now. I just yeah, don't... I get that. I get like she's not in the best situation, but. And I was hoping she'd still be happy for me. You know what might help? What? <laughs> Cooking dinner together. Oh, shit. <laughs> Which I feel like we should be doing that. I know. I know, I know, I know. Well, now, I think you and Alicia should hop on a sea do do some cottagey shit together. <laughs> you hate cottages. <laughs> Come on, stay an extra night. I'm like oh, a friend in I have to ask Darren. Okay. Okay, ladies, I'm no emerald, but the kitchen is sort of my jam. 
Um, babe, you make grilled cheese and that's where it ends. I love every food group. I'm very inclusive. <laughs> Just like you are with men. Oh yeah, I've always been into a bit of color on my plate and in my bed. <laughs> that's a bit obvious. So. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Um, why don't you guys get started on an app? Like a free wheel maybe? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna do that caramelized pear thing. Is that good? Yeah. I think you have it under control, so. Can you some help? It'll be, yeah. I don't think there's like a right way or a wrong way. Well, it's, like, just, it's just kind of just Oh, that like was that. so quick. <laughs> it's How all good. It's like, it's like this bartending course that taught me a bunch. Of plus. You took a bartending course? Yeah. Like flair bartending? Like Tom Cruise in Cocktail? I haven't seen that movie, actually. No. Is it good? Yep. Yeah, I'm surprised. Because like Tom Cruise is Dan's favorite leading man. If he sees Jerry Maguire on TV, you guys know. He has to stop, he's to watch the whole thing. These fish are coming with me. Show me the money! I'm sure you know that already. No, I actually didn't. Um, Dan and I have only been seeing each other for a couple of weeks, so. Got a lot to learn, I guess. Beautiful. Let's all have a drink, hey? Yeah, absolutely. I'd like a little more. Oh, fuck. Shit. Oh, what? It's mosquitoes. Yeah, they're, they're bad out here. You gotta get one of these. Uh, this is this is how you do it right here. This guy knows. What did Julia say when she saw you in that? Did she say that she wants to reconsider the oh. engagement? No, oh, wow. she thought she thought I was cute. <laughs> you do. You look cute. I'm very happy that you guys made up. That's that's for sure. Yeah. Me too. Thanks for cheers. 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 Buddy. cheers. 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 cheers with. Cheers. That's great. You're not a, that's you're not, great. How come you don't drink? You're not a drinker. No. Yeah. I, you know. I'd like to just calm down a little bit. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, I'm sorry that this is taking so long. This is just a full-on catastrophe, Fred. I you got th fucking full-on logs here. What about coals? What about just grabbing some coals for the place? I forgot I was trying to get that place ready for everybody. You were just jerking off. I jerked off at once just because I know <laughs> I'm going to not be able to jerk off nervous? for two days. So I nervous need to get jerk a... off? No, was it a nervous jerk off? That at-home alone jerk is a good jerk, it's, though. It's great. Right? You, you, know, know, you know, guys, Christ. so actually, my friend, if I may, yeah, he's a chef, and he tells me this is how you make a steak. So, you marinate it, of course, the way you want to do it. Salt, pepper, whatever. Basic. Um, and then, you crank it up to about 500 on the barbecue. It's 500? Yep. Yeah. On, the, on, the, on the grill? On the 500? Well, oh. <laughs> on the, uh, no, just bocce. crank it on up to 500. Well, of course, on not, on, on, not, on, not on this mat. Okay, but. yeah, come on, continue, please. <laughs> anyway, so, you get that, that steak... You put it on the grill. Now, here's the thing. You want to flip only once. Grill. Grill. And that's it. That's your steak. So you're talking about cooking a steak. What? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're talking about barbecue. We're talking about barbecue. We're talking about barbecue. barbecue. Talking about I'm actually barbecue? taking advice about barbecue from a man in a fucking hazmat suit. <laughs> Guilty. Do you think that Julie is being weird to me? I think that Julie is being really weird to me. What? I think you're losing it. Uh, I think she just wanted some pears in a brie wheel. No, I just feel like she's looking at me like I am better than you. It's like an energy, you know, and it's like, fuck off. Oh, my God. You're creating a fight. You're talking about something that does not exist, right? No. Yes. Okay, you're right, you're right. My MO this weekend is I just want to be, like, loose and cool and free and really fun. Okay. Wind it up tighter. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, joke. Yeah, I'll get this. Hey, hey. Oh, hey. Can I just uh, bend your ear quickly yeah, about yeah, something? Yeah, sure. Hey, here. Hold oh, that. What's up, man? Listen, man. You seem like a great guy. Julie's very happy with you. Thanks. I love her more than life itself. I know she probably told you we dated. That's not what this is about. That's we've we've transcended that. She's like my sister, and she means a lot to me. Okay. And I just want to make sure that you're not, you know, the kind of guy who's just going to, like, bang a bunch of his employees and, like... You know. I, I'm a segment producer. I so know what that is. Well, basically, we work together. Okay. So there's no, you know, employee banging going I on. I get you. She's not your employee. It's fair game. What I'm trying to say is, you fuck with her, I fuck with you. <laughs> Matt, she is a phenomenal woman. And... For me, the sun shines with her. I feel that same the way. sun shines with her? God bless you, Dean. All right. Okay, I got what I needed. Let's go.
Yeah, I'm glad you have her back, man. I'm glad you have her front. Uh, oh, again? Wow. Wow. Oh, I love when you stage. It's been too long. You know, since we've all been together like this. I, you know, I miss you guys, and uh, I want to keep doing this for a long, long time. It's a shame. Proposing to us? <laughs> <laughs> That's my salad. Dan. How did you get the weekend off? Was it hard? Yeah. No, 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 no. I no. want to. No, I want to. I've done it a little more. Yeah, I'm a really swag artist. Have you seen it? Have you gone to any of her shows? Everybody fucking loves Darren at work. Mm -hmm. Bye bye, Mr. Fat. What do you like your uh, steaks so rare? I didn't like them. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. But I love my job. Yeah? Yeah, I'm I'm That's it. Are you kidding me? That doesn't hurt you at all? That's amazing. That's good. Whatever. So that makes me feel good. You don't so good. <laughs> And the our, pain is good. It's like a it's aphrodisiac. I know. I saw your situation that you had on earlier, and I actually was a bit envious. Are you tired? Yeah. Fuck up. <laughs> Maddie. Maddie, Maddie, can you play the song? I get you. Come on. Oh, man, a guy can't just fuck around on his guitar for two seconds? Because everyone would love it. And we're never all together like this. We were we were jamming last week, um, and he wrote this incredible. It's so fucking good, this song. Play it. I want him to play it. Beg me, like, real nice. Oh stuff. my god. Yes. Yes. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I tell you what, I'll I'll play it if if Robin will sing it with me. Uh, I don't know. Come on, because oh, oh Robin. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. A little bit that we worked I just want to keep it sparse, though. I know, I know. Come okay. in on the second chorus, so you know what to do. All right. Um. All right. Well, this is uh. This song has nothing to do with any of you. Bartender, one more for the road. After this one, I promise I'll go. Cause I've been having time with these old friends of mine. And now it seems I'm the last to go. And sometimes I get carried away. And say things that I just shouldn't say. And there's power in words. You know, people get hurt. Can't avoid that shit, tries me. And she said, Oh, no. life is long. Until you blink. Until you blink. And it's gone. It's gone. Until you think. times when you're burning too bright there's times when the money ain't even right there's times when you know that you can't let it show you just end up screaming at a fucking traffic light and so i'm burning this last cigarette along with everything else i regret Lord, I can't change it now. Now I'm reminded somehow of something you probably said to yourself in your head. This life is long until you blink and it's gone. Until you think, God damn it, I was wrong all along. So let's drink till the dawn. Let's just drink till the dawn and we'll sing a Until you think, till you oh, I did it all wrong, wrong, all along. Wrong, so let's, let's drink to the dawn. Let's just drink 
the dawn in this drink to the dawn just drink Amazing, man. Take it easy, Daddy. What are we What are we doing with that? I mean, what do we What do we take that stuff? What I mean, we could got like a like a like a I don't know like a publishing deal or, or something. I mean, that's uh, no man. That's not for them. That's for me. That's mine. They're not getting that. Um, we'll talk about something else now if that's cool. Okay. Okay, what are we doing now? <laughs> we doing drugs? <laughs> Need some drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Shrooms. That's a hard no. You? You. Yeah. You? Darren? No. You? And probably not. I want some. Ooh, we got a new player. All right, all right, all right, all right. The rest are for me. <sighs> this tastes revolting. <laughs> Let me try chewing it. I don't know, I like the taste. How long does it take? Probably about now. I call the first one. When you're lumbering, it's important to remember to keep your palms to the sky and your feet on the plank. Is it so connected to the dog? Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, God, try it this way. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Look, look, science and shit. <laughs> Nature is beauty. I mean, this is beautiful. I gotta spend more time here and less time in the city. I'm just always, always just driving and cars, man-made things like cars and shoes. I gotta take these shoes off. Should I lose my dress? Huh? Should I take off my dress? Your dress? Uh, it's cotton. Cotton's, cotton's good. <laughs> I don't think I convinced you to keep your dress on. <laughs> I like the way you laugh. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye. These kids are, these kids are great. Kids? Okay, no. Grandpa. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. Am I invading their space? I feel like it a little bit. God, no. You're not invading anyone's space, honey. You're my family. Everybody loves you. <clears throat> and you? Well, I definitely love you. Why are you asking me all these questions? No, I just, I don't know. It's not my scene, so I just wanted to make sure that you're all good. You seem a bit distant. I do, huh? Well, it um, it definitely has nothing to do with you because you just dove in here, and that means so much to me. But I'm just getting this weird tension from Alicia. Oh, she's the one with the salty face. <laughs> yeah, she's been giving me dirty looks all night. And I don't know. When we were growing up, she got her way with everything, with guys and with opportunities and. You know, now that I'm finally happy and I have you, and I just see her not looking so happy, it makes me feel bad. Look, I'm here for you. You're the sweetest guy in the world.
I definitely feel buzzed. Plus, I have had a few beers, so I definitely feel buzzed. But I wouldn't say I'm high. Like, if I was going to invent and define the word high right now, I wouldn't. <laughs> No, cause no. I mean, it's. I mean, I, I, I had a pop with you. <laughs> I just want to see my boy. My boy, my beautiful. Boy. He needs a father. <laughs> Guys. Hey, down here. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ! Man. I can't even board a dock. Do you board a dock? No. Mm -mm. <laughs> I have to tell you that that walk from all those druggies over there in the dark was scary even with a flashlight. Uh, it's less than a minute and no one says the word druggie. <laughs> you know, I, I wouldn't have to use a flashlight, though, if I could light a match with my damn tooth. That was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> like, our tooth? Are you joking? <laughs> and the fucking thing is, I actually would be friends with this girl in, like, another life. Mm -hmm. She reminds me of you, actually, back in the day. Oh, thank you. Yeah, see? You took it as a compliment. Yes. Marley is cooler than all of us. I know. But I know this is also on me. This is not on her. This is, like, about my shit with Dan, and I have to just take responsibility for that. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's just you're jealous that she has Dan. <laughs> God. Okay, we need to go to bed. Yeah. Okay. See you tomorrow. Yeah. I wish she had, like, a prosthetic leg. No? I just realized, I really don't like people that much. Like, I fucking hate people. Like, I like you guys a lot, but, like, on a day-to-day -day basis, like, people just really bother me a little bit. Mm -hmm. Julian and Darren went to bed. Oh, Robin's here, everybody. It's Robin. Hey, where the fuck is Dan? Uh, oh, he told me that he was going for a cigarette. No, 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 no. That makes no sense. He wouldn't go smoke alone because then he'd have to be faced with his own depressing and horrible thoughts. That makes no sense. That's not funny, okay? I'm serious. It's not Yo. funny. I'm serious. Chill, chill. We should all just go together to try to find Dan, because I love the outdoors, you know? No, 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 no. If we all go, all of us are going to be lost. Freddie, now look, we... I don't love the idea of you being in the woods alone. Just go find Dan and buddy system back here. Hmm? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Shut okay, up. fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go. I'm going to go. Probably, okay. probably took a private piss or something, so it's fine. I'm going to go. It's going to be fine. Okay. 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 This is a classic Phantom Dan move, right? Yes. Phantom what? Phantom Dan, where he, where he fucking, you know, takes off. You don't know where he is. Doesn't leave a message. No text. No call. You find out he's in like fucking New York or or at his parents' house or something, hiding out. Oh, what, what kind of bullshit is that? Yeah, he's a bit mysterious. Yeah. Okay. Mysterious is one word for it. I I'd use selfish or immature, inconsiderate. Why don't you tell us what you really think, Robin? Man, Freddy, Freddy, no, Freddy. no, Freddy. <laughs> Sorry, I was just out taking a leak, and I was out looking for you, and I couldn't find you, and it was dangerous. There could have been like mountain cats and shit and bears. Also, you are high as shit. <laughs> Can we consider that maybe yeah. as an option? Okay, but also, to be fair, Robin was like also quite worried. Okay, Very but wrong. this is the thing. This is the shit. That criminal, criminal minds, minds is made of. of. Yeah, oh. they need. Ma this is the material that they base their shit off of. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm out. Good night. Bye, Robin. Sleep nicely. You too, you know. Bye. Me too. Oh, no, when you were singing with Maddie, it was nice. You should sing like that all the time. I do sing all the time. I teach kids every day. Yeah, the kids, Maddie, you. It's the same thing. You're doing it for everybody else, but not yourself. I don't think you know me anymore. I think that's what that is. It always feels so weird when someone leaves the room. Yeah, people, you know, leave all the time.
So where are we at, though? Yes. Oh. You know? Yeah. Like, in so many places like at once. So like, I can't. Uh, you know? Like, I can't. Oh my god, Julie is getting married. Like, that is so fucked. That's crazy. But you know what? Like, for real, I, I am happy for her. I do think I'm happy for her. You sound very happy for her. I am happy for her. And, like, it'll be fun. And, like, I'll probably at least get, like, a bridesmaid dress out of it or something. Plus, she's always really wanted her life to be together. And now it is. So that's good, you know? I'm happy for her. Where is everybody? <laughs> I don't know. It's late. It is late. It is late. But I like staying up late. I always stay up late. Like, at home all day. Like, watch shitty movies, and then please don't tell anybody this, but I'll write in, like, my secret journal. <laughs> journal? What are you doing? Like, a diary? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like a diary. I write in the diary. That's cute. That is really cute. You know, I think I should have, like, more creative endeavors. Like, should. I should get on a pottery wheel or something. Get on a pottery wheel. Just get up on that Just get pottery. up on that pottery wheel, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you should. You're good at that stuff. She haven't done it enough. Do you think I'm crazy? No. Yes. A little bit, but like in a, in a nice way. Does everybody just look at me and think I'm crazy all the time? Like, no, I want to be more like Julia. I want to be more chill, but I, it's really hard. Like, I'm always just thinking. Like, I'm always just... Going, 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 going. Like, it's really, like, it's really hard, you know? I'm, it's really crazy. You can't worry about that stuff. Nobody thinks that stuff about you. Like, honestly, you just, everybody's nuts, okay? I'm nuts. You're nuts a little bit. We're all nuts, but that's good. Like, you just gotta have to just kind of accept it and then move the fuck on, you know? And then, like, in high school, for example, like, I was, and I still am, short, and that bothered me. It really bothered me. But then I realized I'm not going to get any taller. And then guess what? Now I don't care. You just move on. You just got to do you. You're so deep. Oh my God, is the sun coming? Do you remember grade nine? I do. I do remember grade nine. Do you remember how I was your girlfriend? Yeah, I was your boyfriend. Freddie, you're sweet. I just think you're sweet. No. You were just doing it. Sleeping so peacefully, like the babe she was a short time ago. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just missed her prom. So. Oh, yeah. that's a shame. Yeah. Did you get a chaperone? Yeah. Well, to be fair, I do buy her friends booze and cigarettes. What? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, for that's sure. So fucked up. Yeah, it's also a joke. Oh. So. Well, look, I don't know you anymore. I don't know what you get up to on weekends, so right? So many different things. So I'm many sure. Different things, you know? So should we make out now or what? You fucking kill me. What? You kill me. Your girlfriend's right there. Well, I mean, she's asleep, so I feel like it doesn't count. It's, it's so you. This is so you. I knew you were going to do this. You knew I was going to do this? Yeah. Wow. And you didn't so do you. anything to stop it. So you're fucked up. I'm fucked up. Absolutely. How am I fucked up? Because I'm fucked up, like, on the surface and, like, outwardly so. But mm -hmm. you go along with it and accept it <laughs> and I think that makes you even oh my god
not fair to me. That's not fair to her. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm a lot of things, but boring is one of them. Yeah, for sure. I wouldn't use boring. I'd use another B word. I, uh, I go with it. I, uh, I get down on one knee and I pour my heart out. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't trivialize that and compare that to this. It's my instincts. It's all I got. Guts hurt people. Wow. Really? You're doing that? Doing what? Uh, that. Well, you act like nothing happened last night, which is crazy. And that and that makes it a thing, by the way, which is not what I set out to do this morning. Ah, but you know what I think? I think this is a strong approach, because we just act like we didn't get very close and intimate last night, and then, whoop, not a thing. It's not a thing, not a thing, not a thing. Hey, psycho, mimosa. Thanks. Okay. You two, mimosas, that's deja vu. Could I have one? Also, Robin, can I speak to you privately right now? Yeah, yeah. What's up? Yes, yeah, 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 what? I fucked your friend last night. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if it was the shrooms. I don't know Get if I behind. came. I think I might have come. I don't know what's happening. Whoa, 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 whoa. You almost came from sex with Freddy. Shh. This is fucking crazy. No, that's fine. No. Wow. This is big news. And I think this is great. I'll tell you why. Because you said you were going to be fun and loose and free and all that shit. Oh You're living gosh. that. Yes, you are. Wow. Uh, Here. Ready. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. You guys hungry? Yes. Very well. Yes. I feel like shit. You were annihilated last night. Oh, I made art. Hold on. Uh, I uh, apologize for the freak out. I wouldn't be a shroom trip without the standard Freddy freak out, I guess. Oh, God, I do not miss shrooms. You did shrooms? I mean, um... <laughs> I, yeah, I have. Check this out, check this out, check this out, check this out, check this out! An artist did this bullshit. And I did this amazing self-portrait, so who's the artist now? That's what I'd like to know. Maybe you're better at installations, right? What was this called? The Human, the human Condition. condition. The Human, human condition. condition. Very well titled, yeah. Um, well, I was thinking if you guys are up for it, that we could take a little day trip down to the rocks. Yes, please. Yeah. Yeah. So Dan and I kissed. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what is a fair point? I wouldn't say that I kissed him exactly. I'd say there was like, there was like a neck nuzzle situation. There was like lips doing a thing. And <gasps> Dan, I don't know. I was a little drunk, and Marley was right there. Oh, oh my God, that is so hot. Dan is such an asshole. The thing is, when you're comfortable with somebody, it's it's hard to ignore that. Like, for 0.5 seconds, it felt like we were back together, and then I stopped it. This is my point. This is exactly why exes can't be friends. No, that is not true, because Matt and I are really good friends. Yeah. And Dan clearly doesn't care about her. And she doesn't care about him. She was passed out with Matt. And him. Dan was there, too. He was five feet away from her, and he was thinking about you. And he acted on that. So he only brought her to the cottage to make you jealous? That is bullshit. No, you know what? I don't think that's true. I think he just doesn't know what to do with his feelings for you. Mm. Like when you guys are making out in the making kitchen. Making out. Moment. Not making out. Not a verb. Wasn't continuous. Did it feel good? Yes, it felt good. <laughs> it never felt good. I just... That's not the point. The point is that I've spent two years trying to come out of this thing, and, like, I can finally go to bed alone now without him, and I'm fine, and I just, I just don't want to mess with that. Dan is the worst. He's a confusing jerk. He's also one of your best friends. Ugh, I guess. <laughs> Are you saying that when you're back in the city, you don't think about him? Of course I think about him. I, I absolutely think about him, but, you know, I just, I just don't know if we can be real friends, you know? Like, we're in a kitchen alone for 30 seconds. We can't even stay away from each other. It's insane. It's insane. Because, like, Dan and I hurt each other. We hurt each other.
I know. Uh, what, what, I'm doing. what are you doing right now? What do you mean, what am I doing? Are, are you power hearing right now? What? You are unleashing the braid to no. unleash the boner. She wants him back. No, it's like I wanted a boost. I want some waves. No. Power hair is a weapon reserved for seduction, Robin. Those are your words, not mine. Dan <laughs> does not deserve power hair. Put your braid back. Okay. I love you both very much. This has been mildly helpful and incredibly confusing. Do you have hairspray, yes or no? Geez, they take a long time to get ready. <laughs> I think Robin's doing her hair. At the cottage? You good back there? I'm good. Working on my pipes. So, uh, you did shrooms? I sold them briefly. Wait, what? You were a drug dealer? Uh, d well, no, not, not, not a full drug dealer. I was, I was like a businesswoman who, um, met the demand that was needed okay, for but, drugs. Okay, but how often? Uh, twice a fortnight. What? <laughs> Once a week? Listen, at the time, I was experimenting a lot, and it was just kind of like, that funded my habit, babe. Oh, my God. What? It was like, okay, I was a teenager, and it's over, and I don't deal anymore, so you should be very happy. Fuck it. I'm gonna get wasted tonight. Wasted! Yes, I am. <laughs> That's so exciting! <laughs> I'm gonna get some wine coolers, I'm gonna relax, I'm gonna suck it back, go hard. Hold on, no, 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 we're not gonna have coolers. No, you're, you're a man, so you're gonna have, like, a manly drink, like, shots of tequila, and just pound them back. Yeah. Yeah! Thank you, honey. Mm. Get bombed so I can take advantage of you. Yeah? Yeah. Look at this oh, lovely. Lovely. Oh, Ready? Wow. Oh, right. Can you get your paint off, please? Yeah. This is yeah. your kingdom. Yeah. Put up the window. <laughs> oh, sorry. Come on, come on, Marty. Hey, no, no, you, you guys go down. We'll, we'll, we'll take everything else, all right? Thanks, friend. Okay. No, Matthew, you stay, stay, help me, okay. please. Yay! Dan, you too? Yeah, you no, it's okay. Dan's gonna help me with Matthew. Yeah, it's fine. Hey, guys, need some help? Oh, good. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, uh, fucked Alicia last night. No what? way! Had a boy! Did you wrap it? Was it good? Anal? Wow. Wow. wow that's aggressive. Uh, no. No anal, simple. but it was good. It was good. That's great. <laughs> that's what you need. A little one-night stand action's good for you. One-night stand? Wow. Why is everything so non-committal with you? Non-committal? I'm sorry. I didn't know you guys were getting married. Jesus. Non-committal is true. I mean, it's this whole, uh... You know, same shit you did when you were 19 years old. This, uh, dirtbag poster boy thing. Dirtbag poster boy? Yeah. Freddie, you in line with this? No, no, I'm not. Look, you're my best friend, and uh, I just want to touch base and see where you're at. You want to touch my base? You know where he's at? He's everywhere, and he's nowhere. Can you shut what up, Dan? Fucking poet okay. this guy is, I'm sorry, huh? Darren. Look, okay, I worry about you. Is that such a big deal? I worry that this boyish charm of yours is going to eventually wear off. Why is it so hard to talk to you, man? Man! You fuck one girl one time, okay, that's and you got all the answers. No, huh? I don't have all the Jesus answers. Christ. Yeah, like you got all the answers, eh, Maddie? I mean, you quit your job to come up here for this weekend. Why don't you just book it off like a regular person? I hate uh, that job. Why would I not quit that now job? Now you don't have a job, just though. Shut so up. I'll get another job. Oh, and then you get another one after that. Sure. And then another one after that. Okay, I'm done. Okay, come on, Maddie. Look, look what the fuck, man? What? Why do I have to edit everything you say? Let's have a nice weekend, please. A nice weekend. I'm huh? sorry, Darren. My friends are idiots. I sat alone with a bottle of wine to ease my mind and then have fun with it. Had a cigarette for my dinner. There's no truth in what they tell me. Last night was pretty fun. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Super fun. What's up, cabin romance? Um, okay, listen, I just, I need for you to not tell the boys that that happened. No. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Why did you tell them that? Uh, cause Why would you tell them that? They were my best friends. They knew I had an, like, an no. after sex glow thing going on. Oh my god. Everyone is going to be looking at me now. I am getting drunk and sleeping with my friends. This is an. Yeah, no, nobody gives a shit, and, and nobody's looking at you okay, like, yes, why would that. she do that? Oh, my um, God. You know, obviously, this is Don't how talk you feel about this. No. No, I, listen, just please don't talk to the boys about this anymore, okay? I don't want to fight with you about this, but, like, I just... Uh, I'm not fighting with you at all about anything. I just, um... Yeah, okay, uh... Look, um... Can you just, like, listen, I, I don't... Let's just not have everybody know everything about me obviously like you know you came to the the cottage and you wanted to get drunk and get laid and i was there and no, i was no, drunk no, and i was available and like all. i get that's, it but it's like do you know me i'm not like that i, I don't i'm not like it. this either i don't have one night stands a one night stand okay look uh here's the thing um i like you okay and um what? i'd like to hang out with you i, I mean like a, you want to go on a date yeah like a date uh, okay. Look, um... I just, look, let's, like, I don't... Remember the grade nine dance? You know? I wanna... <laughs> Guess who's saying another night? This bitch. This bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, Darren <laughs> is off getting white girl wasted with the guys. Huh? <sighs> That's great. I'm glad he's getting along with them so well. Oh, me too. Hey, did you talk to Dan? No, no. No more talking for me. I think we operate best from a very far distance. Hey, Elisa, did you talk to Freddie? Uh, talk to Freddie about what? Oh, my God! You fucked Freddie? Uh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. I thought everybody knew. Well, now everybody does. Oh, oh, okay. Don't worry, I'm not going to tell anyone. I think that is fantastic. Thank you. I do, too. I think it's really fucking embarrassing. Oh. No, I've been waiting for this to happen for like 10 years. Yeah, he's been in love with you forever. He just cornered me, and then I booked it, and I was like, uh, this can never happen again. Oh, Fred. Okay, look, it doesn't have to happen again. And I... The good thing is that now he's already a notch on your belt. You can fuck him all you want. No new numbers. It's perfect. No, I don't need to be drunk and slutty anymore. Not you two years ago. I'm too old for that now. Okay. Well, I'm not going to say ouch because I don't believe in slut shaming. But what I was trying to say is that I'm kind, of, I'm kind of freaking out in my situation too, you know? Like, I'm thinking about the fact that Darren is the only penis I'm going to have for the rest of my life. That's awful. No, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm not saying it's awful. I'm just saying it's like, you know, I'm happy. I love him. It's just what if his ball sag to his knees or like his dick stops working or something crazy? Yeah, I get it. I mean, like I was there with Dan, you know, and I thought that it would be me and him forever. And then I was faced with that as an option and I was very scared and I couldn't do it. I just kept thinking, what if there's somebody who's a slightly better fit for me? No. Or inside of you. <laughs> yeah, one guy who wants to have sex with you and only you for the rest of your life. Like, that kind of loyalty, that's brutal. So, Barley Bar. Yeah? Are all your friends jerks? <laughs> uh, some. Some of them, yeah. Some, but not all? Some, but not all. I feel like that's everyone, though. Mm -mm. I think I got stuck with a lot of jerks. Oh, come on. I don't know. I mean, you take somebody like Freddy. Freddy is a perfect example of, like, a, a, a truly, like, lovely guy. A lovely guy yeah. who is just super boring. Like, this is the most excitement that he's going to see in his life. This weekend right here. Yeah, you know, you're not having the best time ever? Having a great time. And the guy that you uh, came with, what was his name? Come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about him? He thinks that he could talk to me about what my life should be, you know? When he's, like, driving around a dead guy's car, delivering paper. You know what I mean? Honestly, I don't know how he scored you, hot artist chick. Well, yeah, I guess he's a bit preachy. A little bit? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, he's preachy. He's fucking... He... I'll tell you, he really bugs me with this one thing he does. He does... He tells me, like, how I'm fucking young and like 
how things were when he was young or whatever. Like, well, I'm, I wouldn't listen to that guy. He's a fucking moron. I guarantee you, he doesn't remember what happened in his day. Oh, and, like, I don't know what's going on between you two, but it seems like, you know, he talks at you and doesn't... He does it with me, too. He doesn't listen to what you actually want. Exactly right. He's got to tend to his own flock before he tends to starts tending to my flock. <laughs> you, you know have what a mean? flock? Yeah. Are you a whole flock? Mm-hmm. Well, don't you think you should just tell him that's how you feel? I've got to have a real conversation with. I don't know. But like, as a friend, you know, you should just let him know what you want with him. You know, it's a two-way street. If he is really your friend, he'll just stick with you. No matter what, you know? No matter if you're, like, crashing and burning or whatever he thinks you're doing, he'll stick around and put it all out. Do you think that I'm crashing and burning? It doesn't matter what I think. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Good. Good. I'm still a little stoned. I'm trying myself. <laughs> I mean, how can I not? It's so beautiful out here. It's insane. Oh, God. I know. I miss this place. You want a beer? Sure. Yeah. Thanks. It's really nice that you guys have come out here for so many years. I, mean, I know the group dynamic has been a bit weird lately, but I don't know. You can tell you guys really care about each other. All right. Hold on. <laughs> I need to pull the chair for this one, but can you, like... Explain to me about this group dynamic. Oh, I... Sorry, was that weird for me to bring no, up? No, it's just... interesting. I want to hear about this. Your thoughts. Well, I don't know. It's just... It's been shedding a bit of light on my own situation. You know, I have a very similar group of tight friends from high school back home. And, like, a lot of them went to university, and I stayed in the city because of work and whatever. And I just think that, you know, being around you guys has just shown me that maybe, you know, life gets in the way after a while weird thing to think about yeah it is for sure but like this this tight group uh <laughs> it has some holes yeah. well i think they're fixable i mean i'm trying to get my handle on everything um so you were with matthew in high school yes okay <laughs> how was that I mean, you guys seem really nice and like you deal well with each other now yeah no it was it was great we, we were each other's first everything um, we fought a lot. We fucked a whole lot, which was fantastic. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it was nice. We came out on the other side with just love. You know, there's no tension, no drama. None of the friends had to pick a side in the divorce, so it was easy. So awesome. No drama. That's my kind of situation. <laughs> yeah, me too. Hey. Hey. Hey, okay, on. Are you good? What's up? I don't know what makes you think that you can just say whatever you want about my life like you know what the fuck is going on. What the fuck is with that, man? How are we doing this? Well, don't call me over and say, oh, are we good? And then, oh, are we doing this? Yeah, fuck you. Let's do it. No, look, I'm sorry. I really am, okay? I didn't mean to insult you. But listen, Maddie, you gotta fucking be honest with yourself, man. You are a little bit, a little bit behind. I'm a little bit behind? Yeah. L what am I a little bit behind? Am I a little bit behind you, Dan? Because from where I'm standing, it kind of seems like we've been at the same point there for a while. We go out drinking together, we do stupid shit, and everything kind of works out. I mean, if you really want to see somebody who's not living up to their potential, here's a fucking mirror for you, man. Yeah, you know what? There's a warp one, all right? Why don't you try and hold down a job, pay some bills. Mirror. You know, I have a job. I go to work. I do these oh, things. Why don't you try to hold that's down right, a job? That's right. You've got a job. Right. Like I'm that, so, yeah, you know? but, no, but and not all of our families have fucking paper mills. Seriously? It was an accident. All right, I'm sorry. Hang on. Fucking serious? You're gonna knock the beer out of my hand? I'm trying to have a fucking conversation like a man? Jesus Christ, you do live in your parents' basement, don't you? Don't you? I work, man. I go to I, I go work. work. I, I work. Then get your own fucking place. What are you doing in your parents' basement? Jesus. You have a job and you yeah, go to work? That's right. You think that makes you special? 
What about the things that you kept talking about, talking about, and talking about? I'm gonna be a writer. I'm gonna be this. Just fucking talking. So you can be as loud as you want. Really, okay. you can. But you know what the thing is? How about I whisper? What the saddest part is? How about I whisper? Is that you actually were the most talented one. Oh, I was you were. Talented. You were, you were most better most than me. You were smarter than all of us. It's not about and better what the than fuck you, Dan. Have you done, man? It's not about Honestly. better than you. Look you know, at you. You could have had it all. Dude, you really could have, man. Don't talk but to me. But you just had to put don't one talk to me like I'm a fucking child that didn't work out. Who's the guy who came up here with a beautiful woman to shield himself from his fucking feelings for a girl that he truly loves because he was too fucking pussy to make it work? How does that feel, you fucking baby? Come on, huh? baby, yeah? You're a fucking... Come at me! Watch my fucking glasses! Do not fuck up my glasses, Daniel! He's okay. Yeah, he's just loud now. Idiot. Oh no. Dan, stop. Look, I know you have this thing with Matthew, and that's whatever. It's just... I think you have a lot to deal with here that doesn't involve me. It's fine. It's okay. I mean, we all have those people in our lives, I guess. It's just I'm not blind. <sighs> Look, if you want me to take you back to the city tonight, uh, we can do that. I just don't really want to make a scene, you know? I'm actually having a really good time. Your friends are awesome. This cabin's dope, so I'm... I'm easy. You don't have to worry about that. Okay? Yeah. Sorry. I want to hear about being 30. Because, like, I feel a little like it's this carrot hanging in the air that I keep chasing around against my own will, and I need to know. It's really not that serious. It's, it's, it, I mean, it's a landmark, yes, but it's... Remember when you were graduating high school? And in, for those four years, it was like graduating. You know, that was the pinnacle. Yeah. Yeah, everybody does it. Maybe 30 is just when you figure out that you'll never really figure it out. It's poetic. It's very dark, Dee. How do you feel oh about Dan? Oh, my God. I just saw Matt and Marley, and they were flirting, and they were making shameless eye contact. What? That's not that surprising, I guess. <laughs> um, Darren here was just dropping some sage on the big 3-0. Mm, no. No offense, but I don't want to have that conversation right now. Like, I cannot deal with the fact that I'm going to be 30 in three years. Honestly, all I care about is that weird 19-year-old who is flirting with my one friend and fucking my other friend, because that is... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, Marley actually kind of reminds me of Julia a little bit. Yeah, I was saying that earlier. She totally does. Yeah, Julia was telling me about her shroom days. Oh. I bet she was a softie. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, 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 she has a softness for sure. Hey, raise your hand if you ever got a BJ from Julia. <laughs> Why don't you raise your hand if you ever got an STD from Julia, right? What did you just say? Nothing, I'm joking. What is your fucking problem with me, Alicia? I'm supposed to be your oldest friend, and you haven't said one nice thing to me this whole weekend. 
You have become so superficial and petty and you're fucking cruel. And if I met you right now, I would never be your friend. You want to know why your life is so fucking shitty? Because it's filled with you. You are your biggest problem. Got me so locked away again Locked away again somehow Trust in me I'd lead you blindly If I needed someone Follow my This is how I let you down This is how I let you down And I've never been scared to show Somehow I'm feeling more as I get down How you doing? <laughs> and I guess I'm getting better yeah. Heard uh, you and Alicia got into it a bit. It's fucking bad. <laughs> How'd you do? I think it went. Had a go. Mm. <clears throat> Boy, she loves to do that, though, eh? I don't know. I just feel like no fucking clue why she hates me. I don't think she hates you. I think she's just a deep, deep well of insecurity, that girl. And she's jealous of you. I mean, come on, look at you. It's easy when you've known somebody that long to just fucking twist it, you know? What happened with you and Dan? I don't know. Just fucking... He said some shit to me that I... He got me. And as much of a fucking hypocrite as that guy is, he's right. I am fucking behind. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, Jules. I am drifting. I look at what you're doing, and it's so amazing. You know, you're building something. You, get, you found something, and you're going with it, and you've made changes, and I don't... I don't have that. I'm not close to that. I'm fucking losing. No. You are not losing, no. And you know what? If you wanted that, you could have it too. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. Listen, I know you hate when I pry, but I'm going to. All right. Do you just want more for yourself? Because I, I want that for you. And I know you would kill for those guys. I mean, they love you. We all love you, and we just... I just want to see you do something that makes you really fucking happy. You know, the old turnpike. You know, maybe it's... It's time to open up your first checking account. Well, I don't know what that is, but... I'm... Hey, what are you doing? I'm chilling. Yeah? You good? Yeah, I don't know. I think I gotta kind of figure my shit out. Yeah, I'm I gotta go after what I want. What do you want? This.
You want to do a check in? Check in. I just want to apologize because this world has been a fucking mess. And I don't even know why I wanted to go and party because it is not me now. It really isn't. Yeah, but you can't say that. You are who you are. Your past is a part of who you are. Do you doubt me? No, I'm not doubting you. I, I just want you to tell me yourself. I want. I, I don't want to be blindsided like that in front of your friends. It's embarrassing, that whole blowjob thing. I don't think it was embarrassing for me. I'm really sorry that you had to hear it like that. But I mean... I guess with all the practice I got, I'm really good with me now. Okay. Look, I just want to know from you, okay? Whatever you want to tell me, I'm cool with that. It's a little bit, it's a lot. I'm not going to judge you. I know you won't judge me, and I'm really sorry. You shouldn't apologize. I do No, have to. no, you don't. Look, I, I love you so much. That's not gonna change. I mean, it just fucking sucks because I have worked my ass off to be this person, you know? And to have somebody throw that shit from a million years ago at me sucks. I love you too. Alicia, she's just insecure. You know that? Yeah. You know what, I need to, I need to clear my conscience with you. I'm gonna tell you my number and it is not gonna be pretty. No, you don't. I have to, just it is don't. double digits. It's high double digits. Also, I have made out with two of the three girls here and they both touched my boobs at separate times. I'm sorry. Should we wait for Matthew and Robbie? No. All right, well, let's eat. Yeah. Can you pass the pepper, Mr. Kim? So today I got into a fight with one of my best friends. Then after that, uh, my 19 year old girlfriend, she left me uh, for one of my best friends, same guy. And yeah, that's where I'm at now. That's funny. I think she was too good for you. That's honest. Yeah, yeah that's good. Wow. I just don't get it. Because all the cars are still here. And I don't... Where are they? I don't know. Um, speaking of which, though, we should probably go pack. Wait, I thought, I thought you guys were staying the other night. Yeah. Well, uh... Things change. Okay, uh, but none of that French exit shit. <laughs> Don't get your hug.
and I know, like, I know that I crossed the line with Julia there. Like, I really did. I should not have fucking said that, but I just, like, I hate being around her. Being around her, it just makes me feel so fucking awful because it's like, you know, everybody's looking at her and they're thinking, like, she has her life together, you know, and she always did whatever the fuck she wanted, and I always did everything right, and I work at a bar, you know, and with Freddie, like, Freddie is a nice guy. Like, Freddie is a nice guy, and he's very sweet to me, but, like, he's not Prince Charming. He's more like, a squire or something, but it's like, why can't I give him a shot? You know, I just, I just, I don't know what to do with him because, like, I don't, I don't want to make a mistake and I, I don't want him to fuck me over and I don't want to sell myself short. Okay. Real talk. Come here. You have to stop comparing your life to other people's lives, to Julia's life. This is yours. Like, if you keep living with all these these non-negotiables and you keep saying no, then then it's it's gonna be a really limited life. Right? It's hard. I know, honey, but I don't want that for you. You're so great. I don't want that for you. And when you're talking about like falling in love, fuck, you have to just dive in. You have to go for it. That's terrifying. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So you do it, and like I know, but we deal with it. If it goes badly, so what? It's so scary. I know. I know, but listen. Okay, listen. Listen, that's part of it. Okay. It's fucking scary. Okay, but what do I do? Do I just go to Freddie and I say what? Like I'm sorry. I think so. Yes, and that's a very hard word, but uh, I think you do it. So what? So what if it doesn't work out? You just, like, get the fuck out of here, Mazzy. Right. My car's been far more reliable than a man. Okay. Right? Okay. It's gonna be okay. Fuck it, here goes. Yes. Here goes. I'm gonna, okay. I love you. I love you. Not much, not much. How are you? I'm pissed, uh... Pissed off at Dan, I'm pissed off at Matthew. I'm you pissed, pissed off at Yeah, I'm mad at you. Well, you should be. Because I know that I fucked up this weekend in, like, one million ways. And yeah, I'm that's really true. No, I'm really sorry, because I really want to go on a date with you. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't oh, know. now you don't know. Yeah, I don't know if now I want. I don't know if I want to go on a date with you because, um, yeah, sure. Last night it was great. It was it was fantastic. Um, and then uh, snap. The next day you treat me like shit. You barely even talk to me, and I don't want to be with somebody who can only be honest with themselves when they get drunk. <sighs> I want to run right now, but I'm not going to because I want to work on my shit, Freddie. Because I want to go on a date with you. I want to go on a date with you. I kind of like hearing you say that. Ready, I want to go on a date with you. Okay, well. I think you should pitch me just a little bit. No, I pitched you a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, Freddy, I want to go on a date with you because I know how fucked up I am and I don't want to be like that anymore. And when I'm with you, I just feel normal and I feel like I can talk to you and then I just lie in your chest and it feels so nice. You can be an asshole, all right? I know. But, but you're also the most amazing girl. You're amazing. Look at you. You're beautiful. You're smoking high. You're fucking smart. Everything about you. But when you just start saying things like... Everything is like this, and everything is like that, and people are like, and that's so random, and like, oh my god, I'm sorry. I know, it's rude, but like, just be real, just be honest, just be you, you're perfect. Just be Alicia. That's who I like. So you're gonna go on a date with me then? Yeah, I'll go on a date with you. Because, uh, I know you really, 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 really won't go on a date with me, but, you know, a point. 
part as Julie, okay? Because she's your best friend. It would mean a lot to me. It would help us with so much. So just go and talk to her, okay? I hear you're gonna make me better. I like it. You like it? You gotta love it. That was a little strong. Uh, uh, what would you like? Yeah, it's a fact. <laughs> Good fight, right? Mm. Super strong man work. You did Robin, that. Dan, Daniel. Robin, how you doing? <laughs> what? Ready? What is that? <laughs> what? You just seem weird. Do I? You're acting strangely. I'm um, acting like a guy who basically just caught some feelings with Alicia. What? Did you guys have sex again? Fuck, did you know they had sex? Yeah. No, 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 no. Like, she came by acting all apologetically, and I just made her own up to her own shit. Like a man. It was great. And we're gonna have a little sit down when we get back to the city. Yes! Like a sit down, like, like she's like in trouble at the principal's office. You're gonna like, sit her down and talk oh, to her? Shit. And yeah, you're in trouble. <laughs> I love you guys. I want to be I love when you come in close. Okay, but I need to hear more. I need to hear what went down because you were off for a bit. Yeah, I was, you know, but I was basically like, bitch, just like stop. Like, just, yo, yo, don't fuck about. I feel like none of that happened. You definitely did not call her bitch. <laughs> no, but I said, like, basically stop acting like an asshole. You know, you're acting like an asshole. Wow. Yeah, it was good. I'm fucking proud of you, buddy. I'm excited, man. I like her. I'm gonna say it. I like her. And I think she likes me, too, so... And, like, this cottage is sort of couple maker. Is it the couple maker? Just, I'm thinking about couples. I'm I'm just wondering where Eminem are. Eminem, uh, he's in Detroit, just making hit records with Dr. Dre. Talk about Matthew and Marley, you idiots. Fuck them. They're probably in some tree writing poetry on like that white bark of a tree. Birch bark. That's yeah, birch bark. What were you thinking? Bringing her to the cottage. Thank you. I don't know. I just, I'm not gonna let it ruin my night. So I'm having a really nice time. I'm just a bit concerned because like. You watch the news and you hear a bunch of shit and like people are at cottages and there's like there's an animal of sorts. There's like a wild animal. There's like somebody's drowned. It happens. I'm fucking serious. You sound like you're reading Cosmo from like ten years ago. I do. That's not a bad thing because I read there women should keep pepper spray with them at all times. I do that. You check your car seat for intruders. <laughs> intruders? What is wrong? <laughs> That's there's a snore. That snow takes me back. You know what that snow reminds me of? What? <sighs> Nothing. I'm happy for you. Yeah, me too. Can I just... Okay. <laughs> this is nice. Julia and Darren definitely left. Nah, she loves a goodbye. And Alicia wants to talk to her. <clears throat> That's some talk. Girls, you there? You there? Oh, I really do not need to be drinking anymore. All right, one more. Okay. You want a drink? No, no thanks. It's really fucking quiet. Where is everybody? Um. 
uh, Julie and Darren's bags are there. And they were supposed to leave a, a long time ago. Well, if their bags are here, then they're here, right? And their car is still there. So then they gotta be here. Yeah, maybe they went for a walk. You think they went for a walk? It's the middle of the night. And, and like, what about Alicia? You guys had that great talk, right? You don't think it's weird that she didn't, that she didn't come hang out with us by the fire? But Alicia went to go talk to Julia and patch things up. That was hours ago, okay? And Julia and Darren had to leave and be back for the engagement party, and they haven't left yet. And where the fuck are Matthew and Marley? Okay, thanks, Robin. Now you're really scaring me. Because you know I'm right. Hey, come on, take it easy, please. No, right, don't, don't fucking tell me to take it Just easy. Relax. Don't do Just... that and don't tell me to relax because you know something's wrong. Yeah, but freaking right? out's not going to help. Come on. So then what am I supposed to do? Not this. So then fucking help me. Then tell me what, what's going on. It's fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. It's not fine. I want to fix this. I just don't know what we should do. Okay, look. Um... This is my cottage. I know the area. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna find them. No, absolutely not. I don't want you to go outside. All right, then I'll go with them, all right? No, I don't want you to go too, and then I'm fucking here alone. Then come with us. Fuck. Fuck. I just... I'm just not sure how to go about this. Okay, I don't look, know what we do. Dan's gonna stay here with me, okay? I'm gonna go down to the buggy, and they're gonna be there playing headbands or some shit, and I'm gonna yell at them. I'm gonna bring him back. And we're gonna laugh about this, okay? Just, just five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait. Just be careful, okay? It's been too long. Can you agree with me? Please. I don't want to feel this scared alone. I just need you on my side. I know I'm on your side, okay? But I can't do that. I can't lean into this fear. It's not right. I need you to be on my team. I am on your team. Are you? Yes. Then why aren't you doing anything? Because, Rob, Where all I can friends? fucking do is get out there! I get it. I you want to leave. I want to leave. I want to leave. You fucking left me. No, I asked you, you to marry leave. me, and you left. That's what happened. Facts. Fine. You proposed, but there was a lot of other shit we needed to deal with. I didn't know where you were, where you were for days at a time. I didn't know if you were happy. It's just like a, a, a ring isn't a remedy, Dan. Ring isn't a remedy. Look, it felt right, okay? I'm sorry I didn't do it in the right way. But have you ever known me to do that? And trust me, I thought about those things. We didn't maybe talk about it, but our families, our kids, our future together, that's why I did what I did. You thought about all that? Of course I did. Just being with you was enough. That's all I needed. I just wanted you to ask me what I wanted. What do you want? I'm asking you now. I don't know but I do know that I'm fucking sorry. And I should have done that with you. You know, I was just, I was just so fucking angry with you for, for, for ruining everything, for not just sitting and talking to me, for just showing up with the ring. Because, like, I can remember the first time we met. And I, I remember exactly that feeling. And from that moment, I've never not felt anything for you. You know? You make me so fucking angry. And you make me really fucking happy. And I just thought that once that was done with you, that I could find that with somebody else. But I haven't been able to. And that scares me so much. And now you show up here with a girl, with another girl. I thought I'd be cool. I was trying to be fine with it. And I was not. And, like, that's how I know. That's how I know this isn't done. And I just don't know what to do with that. 
I don't want to keep hurting each other. I don't want to keep doing that. I'm tired. You know, these last two years since we've been apart, Jesus, what a mess. 19 years old? Uh, really? Jesus, come on, man. All right, look. I may be one way. I may be this degenerate piece of shit, okay? But you are also a neurotic psycho sometimes, okay? And that's okay. My point is that I like that shit. I like your shit because your shit makes my shit better. Look, I don't know where our friends are tonight. I don't know where Freddie is. I don't know where Maddie is. I don't know where any of them are, okay? What I can do for you and me is I can go out there and I can find out. And I know you're scared because I'm scared too. We go out there together as that team, whatever it is, whatever happens, I don't actually even care. As long as you're there with me. Look, that's all I got.